Now, all right, welcome back. So today we're going to do a bunch of more beautification things for your base. Uh, starting with this just absolutely gorgeous uh, railing, maybe, maybe railing in your base. Uh, with the uh, rounded base, I think it looks very well. Uh, could be a new way to do a bench. Uh, instead of the stone bench, which has no backing, you can make a full bench like this. And I'm going to show you what you do. It's actually quite easy. Now, if you do the one that's buried in the ground, you're going to have to go down one. So I went one block down and I did put a piece of uh, stone below this because otherwise they sit a little wonky when you are on the ground. So like if you're just on the dirt and whatnot, it has a tendency to want to kind of cattywampus depending on what's going on with the, of course, it's making a liar out of me right now. But essentially what I did with these, if you could watch, let me sit this or not sit this down. Let me go to this. I need to learn how buttons work. Let's go to this. So I'm lining up right here along this edge, along with the very top edge, just like that in order to get this shape. So I'm going to come like this, line them up nice and neat. And there you go. Now this doesn't make any difference whether you're in the ground or not. It still gives you the same look, and I think it's fantastic. And now I want a bench that looks just like this. I mean, you can make it, but now I want one. And the same thing with chairs. Now, it doesn't work awesome with all the chairs, if I'm being honest. Uh, these, you have two options for it. So either you can take it and set it just like I did where I set them. It's, it's really difficult with our character in the way. Hey, Devs, why don't you uh, fix that? Let us get our character out of the way when we're building. So you can do like this, or the harder part would be to overset it just to where they overlap and looks like one column, right? So instead of having the, the edge from both of them, you just have a singular. And that would actually make a more impressive bench as well if you're trying to do that with the chairs. Same once, same thing again. You just take out. Let's see. You do this, and all you're gonna do is take out one space. You could take it out by two spaces. It doesn't make any difference. Make sure you put a piece of stone down below, and it works great. This is the stool, which actually turned into a pretty decent little bench just by smashing them together. I put it so that the part where you would rest your feet on was on the sides so you can see through it. And I think it worked really well. Now this is just the carpenter chair, not the cheapo, this type of material that we would make. And then I overlapped it instead of, again, instead of doing it right like that, I overlapped it to where it covered both so it looked like a single piece and minus i didn't get it perfect on this one right here it's sticking out just a hair that's a pretty nice looking bench right there this is a pain in the butt i'm not gonna lie so this bad boy does not actually set let me do this real here so you notice there are two pieces here in the middle all i did is i took the stone benches and I'm sure anybody can figure this out. I took the stone benches, I rotated one, and I placed them to where this inner corner, the corner closest to the tip of my sh bottom of my shield on the right hand side right now, was as close to this corner. Okay, do you see how, like, if I, it's inset now, it's overset right there, but right there is about as perfect as it gets. So rotate one. Oh, I hate when it does that. And I do the same thing. You can't actually get the top piece, but you can get the bottom piece lined up really nicely. And well, pretty nicely. It's weird though, if you log out in between doing it and look, say you're going to, to another uh, world you have that has a bunch of these on it and you come back, it doesn't want to match up as easily. I, I don't know why. So this piece right here, you see that there's two right here in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and chunk those out. I'm going to show you why. So in my bag, these are regular sandstone. That is the color of this right here. If I now try to place 
this brazier here, I get stuck because it doesn't want to go dead center in the middle. Because there's a hole in the middle. There, that it, it may be small, but there's a literal hole in the middle. So what I had to do is I had to come in here, get it to where it sinks down on regular sandstone, and I had to put two because I had to cover the hole completely. Just like that. And now it will let me center this brazier. So it's really hard to see again because our character is in the way, but you kind of got to feel it out and do a kind of a number like that. And that's not terrible. It's a little off, but it's not terrible. And this gives you just a fantastic look. I mean, that's that is impressive. If they ever give us a way to do like a fountain, I'm sure someone's going to be like, well, yeah, you could do it with glow block. And yeah, you could. Uh, this would be a cool way to make a fountain. So then over here, I, this actually started, I was going to make other railings. And this was going to be a railing. I set it down in the ground, but when I noticed it didn't go all the way into the ground, the seat was still visible. Then I was like, okay, well, well, what else can we do? We can do benches and stuff. And then I did some of these railings. This one in particular, I absolutely love. So I used bronze and the iron windows. Look how there's like this cool stripe in the top of it. So this could be a good way to put a railing along a pathway, um, along the edge of your building. And this is your iron window. Do I have any on me? Yeah. It's your iron frame and bronze. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. Now here we have the fancy wood one. We've got the ornamental wood and palm wood. I think it works really well. The materials match very well. But, and I didn't try everything, but I think you could probably do something else. Now, these are as simple as, I actually overlapped them. So if I go up here to my palm wood, I just went up the side like you would normally, but instead of going across the very top, which would make an overly tall, essentially window frame, we're just making a window frame. I'm encompassing the top to give it a more railing look, you know, and then you would put like another three windows and then you'd put a, a piece that comes down. Same with this over here. Now the drawback to this is polished stone. So the highly polished stone, the drawback with polished stone, if I take this piece away and I put in polished stone, see what it changes to? Like right here, it looks like a banister. And that is perfect for what a railing is. These are the stone windows. So it looks perfect as a railing. Until I do that, then it's kind of weird. So that's why I changed this to a, a castle stone block. And then it still looks like a railing. And so just put your... Oh, wrong one. Put in your standard uh, stone window in between. Same thing, just set them down one. This one I toyed with it by doing the... Here it is. The wooden, nope, I used the other one, this one. The uh, carved wooden frame, so it has that flat piece at the bottom. Not really matters, because this is these windows are inset one into the ground, exactly like I did these right here. And then instead of doing some other wood material, since I already had one with wood, I used, go over one, I used the roof tile. So this gives a, a whole other unique look. I mean, I know I played with roof tiles a lot over there, but it gives a really interesting look. Now, this is the only one I went across the top. So I did that. And then when I put one more here, it gives that little uh, 45 right there. And I think it looks great. Now, granted, all we're doing by doing this, you're just building windows submerged into the ground, similar to how I made that bad boy right there. And then putting a cover across it to make a railing. And I think it works great. This I love. I, I just that is just so gorgeous. Such a, a really nice centerpiece. It's a pain in the ass. There's like twenty four or something stone blocks. I mean, that's not that expensive at thirty piece, but or twenty piece. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work to get this like this, but it, it's it's a really nice result. All right, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good day.